everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We're coming to you from around the world today so we can bring you some exciting news about a new product offering for the API market. I'm Lorinda Brandon, Senior Product Marketing Manager for the API product here at SmartBear Software. And I'm coming to you live from our headquarters just outside Boston, Massachusetts. I'm joined today by two of my colleagues, Nicholas Reimers and Ula Lindsmar. Give them a wave, guys. They are both the original founders and creators of SoapUI, the world's most widely used API testing tool. And they're here to bring you some pretty exciting news from SmartBear. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you, Nicholas. Thank you, Lorinda. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Nicholas Raymerts, VP of uh, Product Management and Strategy here at SmartBear. And currently, I'm in London at the new Soft Connect conference. And it's kind of quite quiet here because we're just setting up the conference. The excitement is building. And me personally, I'm going to be at an undisclosed bar meeting customers and friends here in London. Now awesome. Thanks. No. Thanks, Nicholas. That looks great. Um, I'm here in uh, Chicago uh, at the API Strat conference. I'm Ola Lansmar, the CTO at SmartBear Software, and I'm really excited to be part of this announcement. Unfortunately, we couldn't get access to the conference venue yet. It's a bit early uh, over here, so we'll be broadcasting live from this uh, very elegant and nice hotel room instead. Exactly. So we're coming to you, dear audience, live and direct. Uh, so we can announce a, a new, very cool thing uh, we've been doing. So, Ul and me, we go way back. Uh, we are the creators, all more than me, of <coughs> Soap UI. <laughs> and uh, so we've been in this, in the API economy for, for many, many years. And I think that what's hap is happening recently is extremely exciting. There's a lot of movement, there's a lot of excitement going on. And we want to be part of that movement and that excitement. Just don't like sitting still, do it, Ula. No, you're totally right. Like 10 years ago, you know, both and I, you and I were in uh, big enterprise projects, uh, enterprises adopting SOA architectures, building SOAP APIs, and we, we saw an obvious yeah. need and a gap for a tool which would help developers and testers easily test those APIs and ensure the quality of the, of the systems they were building. And we built SOAP UI, and the rest is history, as they say. And the interesting thing is now uh, we're seeing the same thing or a similar shift to REST and REST APIs. REST architectural styles are being adopted all over, and REST, uh, uh, and REST APIs are being built both internally and publicly. And we saw the same, you know, uh, need, uh, or we saw a new need that has to be, it's more related to how those APIs are built and deployed. And we wanted to fill that need just, and that gap, just as we did 10 years ago. Exactly. Uh, so what's this gap we're talking about? Because, let's face it, there's no shortage of uh, tools out there for, for API developers and testers. But there's one problem. Uh, either you go the route of having, buying a lot of small disconnected tools that work, don't work all that well together, or you buy a larger enterprise tool which usually is outside of, of, you know, of what most companies can afford. And that's a problem because it used to be that uh, APIs were an enterprise deal. But these days, I mean, even the smallest app you build depends on an API, which means that uh, the tool sets today has to be available to everyone. Yeah, and one of the one of the big differences between APIs now and then is that today APIs are, aren't aren't so much internal, but they are very external, and they have. Uh, the the users and the usage scenarios of your APIs are not are not under your control in the way they were when you built an internal SOA architecture. Today, when you're building a REST API, you use you don't know if you if it's going to be used in an app that has millions of downloads, and you don't know the usage patterns, and you don't have the control over the usage users and the usage patterns of those APIs in the same way, which obviously makes it extremely important to ensure that you know your API works for in that kind of uh, Usage. Exactly. 
And and like you said, it's gone from the internal SOA uh, world to something where there's a lot of people depending on the information your APIs provide. So what happens if it doesn't work? I mean, uh, or if it doesn't work functionally, or it, the your APIs buckle on load. Well, uh, your users will be suffering for it. Uh, and APIs, we have them everywhere today. I mean, you can use them to, uh, uh, you know, if you do banking in a mobile phone, for example, even by, if you want to start up your car before uh, uh, actually coming out to it, if you upload pictures or share pictures, so the, if you collaborate uh, on documents online, there's so many uh, ways you share and use APIs today. And it's not about you anymore. It's about your users. Yeah, so how do you make sure that your APIs are ready, right, for, for that kind of usage scenario? And obviously, uh, there's a lot of quality aspects to an API. And during the entire API lifecycle, it starts, you know, from the beginning, during the design phase, you should be probably using one of the, the description formats and even maybe even build mock services or virtualized APIs to validate that your API design is going in the right direction, is in the line with your users. Uh, and then, of course, functional testing, load testing, security testing, all those things are really important, you know, in, in, an, in a domain where, where the usage patterns are not as known as they were before. Exactly. And, and there's more to it because I mean, you have your uh, you have your apps consuming your words. How do you integrate them? Well, you need some kind of service virtualization in order to make sure that integration works and quality doesn't stop when you deploy your APIs. Of course, quality is at post deployment as well. So you need a way to monitor your API when it goes live. Yeah, it's all about API readiness, right? It's all about red that readiness, and that's my question to you. Are you ready? Okay, so we're extremely happy to be standing here, my old friend Ola and me, to announce Ready API, the new software from Smartware, which is a set of tools that provide uh, in a beautifully integrated environment with end-to-end testing. And, Ola, do you want to show it to everyone? I'm going to do my best, of course. You know I will. Okay, so we're going to do, let's see. Yep. We can, guys are, okay, awesome. Okay, I hope you can see my screen as well. <laughs> yep. So, uh, uh, okay, so this is, I'm just going to do a really, really quick overview just to, see, to give you a glimpse of the new, the new uh, Ready API tool. Uh, and, or, uh, and what it has, and uh, b both I, Nicholas and I are at these conferences, and we'll be more than happy to show you and do demos if you're here, any one of you, uh, just come to the conference, or if you happen to be in Chicago or London, just, you know, Skype, um, tweet us, or, or, or get in touch, and we, maybe we can figure something out. We're looking, you know, we are awfully proud of this and want to show it to as many people as possible. So. Um, what we can see here is basically the, the starting uh, interface of, of the tool. You can see that it, it, to the top right you have a number of, of modules uh, and these are very much aligned with around the workflow around uh, building and testing uh, validating APIs. So usually as a user we would expect you to start with um, uh, defining an API. Uh, you know, either from a, a RAML file or manually or even recording in a REST API or if you're still doing SOAP you can import whistle files of course and uh, do some ad hoc testing. The next step for you would be maybe to do functional validation which we'll be doing in the test UI module. This is where you fun validate the functionality of your APIs. It, you run uh, tests, you can do data-driven testing. Those of you familiar with SOAP UI will find yourselves right at home because a lot of the core functionality is, is taken from that tool. Next steps, you might want to do load testing, which is also integrated, and security testing, which is allows you to check for, you know, um, uh, 
that your APIs aren't vulnerable to SQL injections, cross-site scripting attacks, or you know, in malicious input, that kind of stuff, which is really important nowadays that APIs are you know, often exposing your, your core uh, assets uh, and also your users' core assets, so you don't want to be sure that that isn't misused in any way. But and one of the most exciting parts of this new uh, um, uh, of Ready API is the virtualization, uh, which we call Service V. Uh, SOAP UI had a, a mocking possibility, which, which gave you the possibility to do pretty, uh, you know, uh, dynamic and advanced mocks of your APIs. But in the Service V module, we're taking that to a whole new level. So not only can you now do all the mocking that you could do before for REST and SOAP APIs, but we've also added the possibility to, you can record REST APIs and generate verts uh, from them. You can simulate server-side behavior, so you, if you want to simulate bandwidth throttling or late, slow latencies or slow response times, you can do that. If, for example, if you're building a mobile app and you want to make sure that it can handle uh, you know, slow response times, or if you, you can even simulate stochastic errors coming from a server, just to make sure that uh, when that you're, you're the, the API consumer that you're building can handle all kinds of behavior from API. We're also adding features related to data-driven data verts. We're doing uh, assertions for verts, and there's a whole bunch of new features. And on top of that, we're introducing a totally new uh, verts uh, server product, which allows you to deploy your verts interactively uh, from inside the tool. So basically, you create your, your uh, API virtualizations, you configure them with all the features and bells and whistles I just said, and you simply drag and drop them to one of your servers that's running in your network, and it'll automatically be deployed and available to anyone uh, running, you know, anyone, any tester, or anyone uh, developer needing to use a virtualized version of that API. And that, it, it's really cool, and it's so much, it's so powerful and so easy to use. So those of you that have been using mocking and need virtualization, which, which is something that's so important now that people are building uh, their apps on top of so many APIs, and you need to be sure that you're, you know, how that you can consume any API behavior from their part. Uh, we're really excited about this offering. And I'm not going to go into any more detail here because that will turn into a technical demo that would, uh, uh, is of course very exciting, but outside the scope of this fantastic announcement. So I'm going to hand it back to you. Nicholas, do you want anything here? Add anything here? I'll, I would just like to say that, um, of course, I, I'm, I got less interested in it, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And oh, this is why I love you so dearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love no, you so, too, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, I have three more things to say. One, uh, when do we expect this to be out to the market? Uh, it's going to be about mid-October. And I would like you to go to smartbread.com, sign up, and you get, can get a lot of additional info uh, up to mid-October. We'll give you a pre-release so you can test out all the new uh, cool functionality in Ready API. Uh, 